Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 2.6.120.2702, version 24H2, but it doesn't really matter. We're on the dev channel and we have a few interesting improvements and changes in this update or build that we're going to talk about in this video. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is beginning to roll out a new advanced camera options page, which basically will allow you to use multiple applications with the same camera and also change basic camera functionality for improved debugging, for example, changing the resolution and so on. We also have some passwordless improvements and um, there are some improvements to the web auth and plugin authenticator APIs. You can check more about that on the official Microsoft blog post if you're interested. We also have a change related to the start menu to be more exact to the recommended section. Microsoft is improving the filtering for recommended websites on the start menu based on the feedback from Windows Insiders so that they show the highest quality sites. So whenever you browse on your default browser, Chrome, Edge or whatever, you're going to get website suggestions here based on what you're browsing and Microsoft will try to suggest higher quality sites inside the short menu. Inside settings, time and language, date and time, the ability to change time zones is now available again for standard non-admin users. So you can see it right here. One new thing in this build is also the addition of the Microsoft Edge Game Assist, which is the first in-game browser that delivers a rich gaming centric browsing experience, including access to your browser data from your PC and mobile devices. I'm going to make an in-depth video about this new feature in Windows 11 pretty soon. You can check more info about this on the article below or on the official Microsoft blog post. We also have some fixes in this build. For example, Microsoft fixed an issue where if pointer trails were enabled, the mouse cursor may become invisible with a black box behind it, mitigated an issue where the Alt or Shift key on the keyboard may get stuck down in the latest flights after the Windows Hello prompt appeared for some insiders. They also fix an issue which could lead to the mouse cursor unexpectedly stuttering when you moved it around sometimes. Related to graphics, Microsoft fixed an underlying issue which could result in some games appearing oversaturated when using Auto HDR. And there's also a rollback fix where if you roll back from the build to 6120.2510 to an earlier build, you would see an your organization used app control for business to block this app dialog when attempting to use or install certain third-party apps on your PC due to an incorrect policy being enforced. This is actually a pretty big deal because because I've encountered this and I had to completely reinstall the operating system on my laptop because of that issue. I'm glad it was fixed, but it's a pretty big deal if you ask me, if you encounter it. There are also some known issues, some general known issues and some known issues related to recall and click to do, which is only on Copilot plus PCs. But basically this is all there is to it to the latest dev channel build. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.